Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to A Dear Mona. We are in chapter 16, the final decision. Before I walked into the doctor's office, I had to I had a revelation. I was going to be a mother. There was a living, breathing human inside of me. Not just any human, my little human. I knew then that I couldn't part with you. Mark and Sean aside, you became the most important thing in my life. Nothing or no one would come first again. Pandora, it's good to see you again. How are you feeling? How do I feel? Eager. I'm ready to figure out my next step. I really need to start making some decisions. That's a good attitude to have. I'm her mother, by the way. I'm here to help. It's wonderful to meet you. I'm happy to see Pandora has a such a solid support system. Now, first things first. Have you thought about your options? I have. I want to keep the baby. Congratulations. I know it won't be easy. I know I have a million things to figure out. I also know adoption is a wonderful option, but it's not for me. Well, in that case, what do you I want you to continue taking your vitamins. And we also need to do an examination. Alright, but I do have one qu more question. What's that? Is there any way to discover the parental before I deliver the baby? Hmm. There is. I can tell you more if you're interested. Maybe later. Not right now. It's a bit overwhelming. Okay. Regardless, f feel free to grab some pamphlets on your way out. Okay, thank you. Hello, little baby. I hope you can hear what I say it said today. I'm going to keep you. And I'd like to apologize for being so confused and stressed these past few days. I think I'll be confused for a little longer, while longer. But I'm not confused about you. I love you already. Pandora, I want to apologize for the way I acted. The news just, it took my breath away. I'd like to meet up so we can talk. Figure out our next steps. Just know that I'm here for you. Wow, I definitely wasn't expecting that. Text him back. <coughs> Thank you. That means so much to me. I'll text you this coming weekend and we can talk. Thank you. And okay talk to you then but for now the baby and I need tr some rest was that a knock on the window who could be in the who could be that in the middle of the night mark what are you doing here I'm sorry to sneak in like this but I couldn't sleep I wanted to apologize and we need to talk what? You couldn't find another date for tonight? What are you talking about? Blair saw you at Pete's Steakhouse with the other day. You were with some girl. That was Tammy. Tanya. Wait, your cousin Tanya? Yes, I can prove it to you. We took photos. I can call her. Oh no, it's fine. That does make sense. I shouldn't have known Mark wouldn't find someone else so quickly. Can I stay for a few minutes? Uh, get out. No. I'm not in the mood for a serious conversation. I'm sorry. Okay, fine. But just know I'm thinking about you. Both of you. And I'll be waiting for your call. Am I sure I want him to go? Say nothing.
I guess I should get ready for school. Mm. I have nine. Oh, I guess we're wearing this. Yeah, I guess I won't be impressing anyone with my outfit today. Not even myself. Yuck. Maybe I should give myself another chance. Mm, no, I don't have the diamonds. Ugh, whatever. I better get to school. Right after I do something with my hair. Why do you want to change your hair? Keep the same hair. So, I have some news for you guys. Is it news that you had to sell all your good clothes to save some money for the baby? Because that would explain your outfit. Thanks, Ma Max. Well, it's either that or... Oh, no. Don't tell me there's a third baby daddy in the mix. Max, don't be cruel. No. Still just the two. But thanks for bringing some humor into my crappy situation. See? I'm making her laugh, Blair. Whatever. What's your news, Pandora? I've decided that I'm going to keep the baby. That's amazing. Yay! Blair and I can be godparents, right? Yes, of course. I'm so happy you guys are happy for me. We support you no matter what. We sure do. Except when it comes to diapers. I'm not touching those. Understandable. What do Mark and Sean think about that? I'm still figuring it out. But I'm doing this with or without them. That's the spirit. You go, girl. I have to go, but I'll catch up with you two at lunch. So you're keeping the baby. You're so selfish. Excuse me? Who do you think you are listening to our conversation? I'll do whatever the hell I want. Get mad at Stacy. Stacy, I know Sean is your brother, but I am going to allow you to invade my privacy. I don't care how you feel. You're ruining my brother's life. And most likely the life of my homecoming date. You're disgusting. Let me at her, Pandora. I'll knock the die right out of her head. No, Blair. Let me handle this. Stacy, no one fears, feels worse about my situation than me. But it's my situation. I don't need your attitude or your advice. Whatever. Just so you know, by tomorrow, everyone at school will know about your situation. I'm going to tell everyone you're pregnant. And that you don't even know who the father is. Roll your eyes. Play it cool, Pandora. She wants you to get upset. Grr. You won't be so cool and calm and collected by tomorrow. Just you wait and see. Oh, poor baby. The ultimatum. How do Sean and Mark react when you tell them about your decision? Well, I guess we'll have to wait until the next chapter, 17, to figure that out. But if y'all are liking this series, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.